to use the OE Connect Repair Link integration from the repair order, launch Repair Link, locate the part, and post it back to the repair order. Here we can see that Smart Pricing has set the sell price of the part. Also, if this is the first repair link order with this dealership, a new supplier record is automatically created in Aura Writer. To order the part, use Smarty Order. Click on the truck, and the order is placed with OE Connect. Note that the accounts payable invoice is not created at this time. Click on Post and Exit. In the part record on the RO, the repair link order number has now been entered into the invoice number field. Don't change this number either by editing it or by posting the AP, as this number is needed to track the order status. You can track the order status by launching repair link and by clicking on the invoice number to refresh the data. When the order status is changed to complete, you'll be able to post the AP. You may want to enter the dealership's invoice number into the comments field. If the dealership responds with not stocked, not identifiable, or discontinued, the part is not available and you will need to delete it from the RO Writer repair order. You must update the order status prior to finalizing the repair order. If you haven't updated the order status, you will see this message when you finalize the RO. So what should you watch out for? The first time you post a part from repair link back to the RO, a new OE Connect supplier will be added to your supplier list. You must use this new supplier for OEC orders from this point forward. Also, once you have used Smart eOrder to order the part, don't change the invoice number in the part record. When RO Writer sees an OEC supplier and an invoice number, it triggers RO Writer to connect a repair link to check the order status. But if you change the invoice number, you will still see the order status warning message, but you won't be able to update the order status and you won't be able to finalize the RO. To prevent changing the supplier or editing the invoice number, you may be able to make a setting change in the configuration module. Configuration, Repair Order, RO Options. If you are posting AP invoices, you should uncheck the Edit Invoice Number checkbox. This will gray out the supplier and invoice fields so they can't be changed. But, if you aren't posting AP invoices, this box will need to be checked. And, in the rare case that the part has already been delivered to your shop, but the dealership hasn't updated the order status, you'll need to contact the dealer and request that they update the repair link order status. You can find additional information on the OE Connect repair link integration in the RO Writer Help System. Look under Catalogs, OE Connect repair link integration.